What is going on, Tentacrew? My name is Billy the Squid, and today we are starting up a new run. Today we are starting my favorite game of all time. And today I have a Majora scratching at the door, but we are going to do a couple of weapons that I've never actually committed to. Those weapons being the boom hammer well, and the whirly gig saw because the whirly gig saw everybody was yeah, ranting and raving about it and i'm kind of a fucking you hipster that history. doesn't like to use what is popular so i never used it and then the boom hammer i just never used for whatever reason don't know why no clue we're gonna use both of those weapons today you need a contract but yeah time to uh, get a contract. This is the Pizza Boomer. Pizza Boomer. Um, and as far as appearance go, do I have any? Oh, I have me. Edgy, edgy PS5 or PS4 me. Lol. Um, okay. So for this build, it's going to be primarily a strength build. Like very heavily a strength build. So I'm thinking Violent Pass, both for the increased health and the strength. Looking to see if there's anything that could potentially be better. Cruel Fate is something I'm considering just because uh, we will need some arcane for the fire damage. Boom hammer goes boom straight out of Monster Hunter. Gotcha, gotcha. Military vets always an option too. But I think Violent Pass is going to be what we can get the uh, the most out of right off the get. So let's go with that. Finish, and let's get this show on the road. So to get both of these weapons, we at least have to beat uh, Father G and get into the DLC. And then we have to do a few runs to get these weapons. Um, I'm not 100% sure where they're at. I have a generalized idea of where they're at, but we will, uh, we will approach each one individually. Also, remember, this is a PS4... Well, close to a PS4 launch title. And it is, even on the PS5, hard stuck at 30 frames per second. So if the frame, the game looks framey, it's because it is framey. But this should at least, uh, being on PS5 tech, we should at least be able to uh, keep a stable 30 frames. We hope. What's up, buddy? I was able to beat you blindfolded, so I'm going to assume I can do it again, not blindfolded. But we will see. There we go. There we go. I don't know how I was able to beat that man blindfolded. We even got a Bloodstone Shard right off the go. A good RNG starting it out. Love to see it. Love to see it. Celia, how are you doing today, by the way? Much love. Thank you for uh, still being around after my hiatus. I do appreciate that. And sorry again, guys, about the hiatus last week. Last week was a weird mental week for me. I'm, I'm having quite the mental block with... Um, thinking about like the future and stuff. This is definitely something I want to continue doing and will continue doing. No doubt about that, but I'm very much like in a transitional period of my life and I'm struggling a bit to figure it out. No, I, I don't want to fight you. Also, it's going to take me forever to get uh Ah! 
gonna take me forever to fake, like get used to the control scheme again. Chilling, you guess? What's up, Jake? How you doing? How's the uh, how's the meowy doing? Hopefully, doing quite well. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm I'm kind of just hitting the fuck it button with that. If Twitch pulls my affiliate, they pull my affiliate. It is what it is. They gave it to us. They can't. They can't reasonably take it away, in my opinion. And for them trying to do, Tw Twitch is just. You know what? If they do. Am <laughs> my affiliate? I'll probably start multi-streaming to rumble. Because I don't respect the kick. I don't really respect rumble that much, but rumble is the more, uh, the more better of the, uh, the grouping. Which, uh, weapon should we go for, folks? Should we go for the axe, the cleaver, or the cane? You decide! Twitch is indeed a mess. Forever a big ol' mess. Spin to win? Okay. I always go the, uh, the cleaver so we can, we can axe it up a little bit. All right. Yo, that's 25 months in a row. Thank you, Jake. I thought I updated those. Apparently not. But, uh, yeah. Big preach, big preach. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, it's, it's L1 that's transform. It's L1 that's transform. <laughs> uh. Cool. Cool. Wasted some blood vials already, because triangle is a weird button to put that stuff on. But, uh... Okay. Okay. We're learning. We're relearning the game. You would think the muscle memory I would have for Bloodborne would, uh... Extend long, long past me playing it, but... Apparently not. Apparently big nah. Thanks, buddy. Oh, the the eternal tink tink. You love to see it. Yeah, Twitch is a mess. And I don't know. Can't say I'm even slightly regretting the uh, the swap over to YouTube as the main platform. Not even a little bit. <laughs> and that one shots. Okay. Okay, game, I see you. Hello, violent mob. The great thing about the spin to win also is, uh, it'll basically full rally you if you uh, use it in like a trade scenario. Which is kind of pog to the wog. Yeah. I forgot how rough it is playing at 30 FPS. I'm that guy. I'm that guy. Yo, Pork, thank you very much for the 34 months in a row. 
grassy ass. <laughs> Forgot how strong spin to win is though. I never use this weapon. I always use cleaver. So this is a uh, this is interesting. I was about to say the exact same thing. Starfield saying that uh, they're gonna be locking the game on consoles to 30 FPS. The good old Bethesda way, man. Fucking Todd Howard. Yeah, you know, I really want to prioritize resolution over frame rate. And, you know, a, a stable 30 frames per second is better than a choppy 60 frames per second. You want to know what's even better than that, Todd? You want to know what's even better than that? 1080p. Stable 60 FPS. I'll take that over 1440p. Thirty FPS or four K thirty FPS any day. I guess is it playable? Yes. Is stable thirty FPS okay? Sure. Yeah, it's it's doable, but there's no reason that you should not have a ten eighty sixty option. No reason. I don't know why after seeing how Redfall got berated for its lack of a 60 fps mode on top of the other issues that it had why they thought sticking with this was going to be a good idea i know they're late into the development window they uh they can't afford to uh to prioritize that right now i get it but oh no it's just weird and then my deep down fear is that this is like Fallout 76 where they uh, gate the game's like physics and stuff to the frame rate. So, <laughs> oh God, who knows? Who knows? I don't know. I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. This is definitely going to be a hot point on the podcast this week, by the way, guys. If you're interested in some spicy podcasting, that's gonna be a that's gonna be an interesting conversation this week for sure. Creative engine needs to be taken back and put down. Yeah. With how big it's gonna be, 30 seems reasonable to be honest. 30 I don't know I don't know I feel like any game developer that isn't willing to like it, it, I I'm not a developer I don't know how hard it is to uh, develop for like lower resolution high frame rates in these regards I really don't so But, I don't know. We'll see, I guess. We will see. Say no PlayStation walking simulator. This has real worlds and gameplay. I mean, I guess, man. But the problem I see with it is there's plenty of, like, 60 FPS has become the industry norm for gaming. And not giving people the option to have that when they would like to have a performance mode just seems wild. Like, taking that choice away from somebody seems like a weird flex. I mean, the gameplay didn't look bad. I'll give it that. The gameplay definitely looks like a step up from what we've seen with uh, the Fallout games. It, it seems like a significant step up with what we've seen from the Fallout games. The ship builder and stuff looks really cool. I'm really excited about it, but... Yeah, 
yeah, we can hope. We can hope for an update to uh, allow for that. But again, the last time we were promised an update to allow for that was Redfall. And here we are. I'm not saying the Starfield's going to be anything like Redfall. I, I don't believe it's going to be anything like that game. But we we will see. You'll just be happy to have the game? Absolutely. I know a lot of people that are excited for the game, and I'm not trying to knock down that excitement. It's just, uh, I don't know. 76 burned me really bad. Being a West Virginian and having that, like, go down as poorly as it did really burned me on the whole uh, sympathy for Bethesda route. At the end of the day, I just want good games for everybody. I just want everybody to be able to have fun games to play. And I want as many people to enjoy the games the way they want to enjoy them as possible. You know? Yeah, I know. So. I'm also getting No Man's Sky flashbacks with some of the phrasing that Todd was using when talking about it. Why didn't this man stagger? It's a feature, not a bug. Yeah. Honestly, for real. You're not wrong. Not even a little bit. <laughs> Not even a little bit. And I'm just and I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. It's Starfield is going to be one of the best games for uh modding that's ever been made. That is like the biggest appeal of Bethesda games is uh the modding community with them. So I'm excited. To, I'm really excited to see what some people do with uh, the mods. That's one thing that uh, the Souls games and Bethesda games have in common is that uh, <coughs> that love and support for the modding community. And the wind is disgusting. Up we go in our very sexy new uh, hunting coat. Don't know why it is down here in the sewers, but uh, free coat. We don't complain. I was pretty impressed with the uh, the Starfield feature. Like, it, it, it met my expectations, which is a good thing. Because, um, well, the alternative was what they did when they first showed Starfield. I was extremely underwhelmed from the, uh, the initial Starfield reveal. Scarlet and Ultraviolet. Holy shit, you're not wrong. Yeah, for sure. Pokemon ROMs are so cool. Fucking ROM hacks and, uh... Yeah, Pokemon's so cool about that shit.
In other news, how has been uh, touching grass, everybody, now that Reddit has uh, been down for a little while? I know it went back up, like, at the end of the day yesterday, but it's 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 weird everything that's going on with uh, Reddit in that regard. Hopefully you guys had a, a nice little detox period. If you're uh, Reddit tours. Ultraviolet's a fucking dope name. That is an amazing name. Also, Nerd Bill. Glasses. I wore my glasses so the game would take it easier on me. Is it working? We'll find out. We will find out. Alright, boys. You. Come here. Come here. Thank you. Boop. Thank you. Nice job dying in tandem. I appreciate that. The only reason I brought up the 30 FPS thing, though, is because Bloodborne's frames per second makes me wish that we had a way of updating it. I wish they would have done one of those, uh, frame rate updates like they did with a bunch of other PS4 games for Bloodborne. Talk to my wife. Hello, Eileen. Oh, a hunter, are you? A hunter. Could yeah. Be. Yeah. Hey, oh, Celia. Right. Here, I've got a tank of copium. We can we can share. No matter. <laughs> uh. Our hearts. We can share. I even got a second mask. actually want either of these things. So, I'm just cutting them down out of respect. By the way, what uh what team are you guys on? Are you on team uh Saw Spear or are you on team uh Saw Cleaver? Let me know. I'm I'm Team Saw Cleaver all the way, but that's just me. Ah! Why would you do that to me? Where are you? Give me them bullets. Cleaver, hell yeah. That's so what am I talking about?
Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what the hang up is. I genuinely don't. It's a weird situation to be sure. I don't think it's coming. I've given up hope at this point. I think we'll get a Bloodborne 2 before we get a Bloodborne remaster or a PC port, genuinely. Good questions are good. Good questions are very good. Uh, I guess we should just be happy that any Sony IP is being brought to, uh, to PC, right? Considering how late to the game they were at actually bringing that stuff to PC. You'll never give up. I really shouldn't either, but it just hurts, man. It just hurts every, my, my, so I haven't given up hope. My hopes are slim, but there is one, one, one singular reason why I think we haven't gotten it yet. And I think that might be because they are saving Bloodborne remaster or the updated version for the PS5 Pro launch. It's the only thing I can think of that would make sense on why they have delayed it so long. Is that they need a reason to get people to, uh, to buy the PS5 Pro. <laughs> it's the only thing that makes sense to me. Pork, shield your eyes, please. Oh, we might not even need to. We might not even need to uh, disrespect this pig in the worst of ways. Burb. Leave me alone. Um, um, um. Um, um, um. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go back to the, uh, the dream. Spend these, uh, these points on blood vials, and then we will uh, push forward with Father G, and then we will run into the DLC and die over and over again trying to get these weapons. Like I said, I, I'm pretty sure I know where the boom hammer's at. We're like Ixaw! It's kind of up in the air. Kind of up in the air. I don't know if I need to beat... L uh, what's, uh, Ludwig or not. It looks great. I just... Todd Howard scares me more than anything that they showed off with Starfield. Because that man is a liar. <laughs> but no, it, uh, it looks like No Man's Sky mixed with some Star Citizen. Um mixed with uh your like standard fallout bethesda like gunplay and uh commentary we'll see 
Good God, film stars. <laughs> ah, film stars is funny. Funny joke. Funny joke. Now, the only thing I'm excited about right now is Final Fantasy 16, which we get to play next week. So, very excited about that. And before you guys bring it up, yes, I am aware there's a demo. Yes, I am aware that that demo's progress will transfer to the final version of the game. And no, I will not be playing the demo because I want uh, to have that initial experience to be fresh and exciting on day one of the launch and not like do it now and then wait a week to continue because at that point i would just be doing the intro of the game again and i don't really want to do that so i will hold off on uh i will hold off on the demo and just enjoy the game when it comes out in full from the reception i've been hearing about it though is it seems people are very much liking it which makes me happy which makes me very happy I was just killing these guys, hopefully, hope, hopefully to uh, get a little bit more uh, of the blue devils, but we uh, we were not so lucky. We were not lucky. Come here, bud. Oh, he hit me. Surprised. Mine went first. Ooh, a juicy four stack. Let's go. Let's go. Listen, fanboys on either side of the fence are gonna bitch moan and complain. I've I've given up on trying to reason with fanboys from either side. Cause there is no reasoning for it. If game good and game look good, praise game. Cause that's getting harder and harder to come by these days. If game bad, boo. Jeer game into oblivion. But don't uh, say yay or nay just based on the plastic fucking box that you own, because that's dumb. And you look dumb. And I don't take you seriously. You gotta knock that? Thank you. Took you long a fuck enough. And not a single one. Holy shit. At the end of the day, the unfortunate thing about Bethesda titles is you never know if the game's going to be good until it launches because it could look amazing and then just launch in a fucking unplayable state. Are the bugs features or are they detrimental? That's what I need to know. Exactly, Celia. You're one of the... That's why we get along so well, because I can respect your opinions because they come from a place of uh, actual thought instead of corporate shilling. Hey, give me them good drops. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let me get my uh, hot bar ready. Yes, I do music box trick this man because, uh, well, I like to. I like making him feel pain. For what he's done. Abtaba, how you doing, bud? Just want to play the game? For sure. For sure, I get it. Ooh, I don't have that move. Nope. Can you 
Stop being American Gascoigne. There we go. There we go. Pizza Boomer? Yeah. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. That hit me somehow. Okay. Thank you for not shooting your gun. All right, we will oh, it seems to me. music box. It's enough to make a man sick. <laughs> Ouch. And we will music box again. I actually really enjoy monster form Gascoigne. So I always use Music Box in Phase 2. Come on! That's not what I meant to do. Also, fun trick that you can do. I'm not going to kill him this way, but this is a trick you can do. You can come right here. You can actually cheese the uh, the hell out of him by throwing Molotovs up here. Or if you have this weapon, you can... Uh... Well, I guess it's not this weapon. But you can, uh, you can just toss Molotovs. And if you wanted to be really cheeky about it, you can... Uh... You can throw an oil urn and then a Molotov. Yeah, they just go right up there and they, they just fucking do it. But uh, this man deserves a real fight, so we will give him a real fight. Excuse me, sir. Ow, ow. Yes, 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 yes. I see you. I see you. You angry. The game is really dark in color. Had to uh, turn my brightness up to see what was going on. Uh, can I turn the brightness up for you guys? Brightness. Why was it all the way down? Don't make no sense. How's that look? Is that better? Is that better, guys? Sorry about that. I did not realize. Much better! Wonderful. Glad to hear it, Ibtaba. Alright, let's go buy more, uh, more blue vials. Buy them while they're cheap. All right. Now for the runs. And not like diarrhea, like runs to get weapons. Early gig saw. Where are you at, bud? I just need to know if I need to beat Ludwig first. Nightmare Church bonfire or lamp. Okay, so it's right before Ludwig, so we're good. 
Very good, very good, very good, very good. Open the door quicker, please. Ah. Dave Talbot, how you doing, bud? Happy to see you around. Grab this goodie. When did this come out? Good God. Bloodborne release date. Bloodborne came out March 24th, the day before my birthday, 2015. 2015. 2015. And they have still yet to make a remake, remaster, PC port of it. You know what has gotten a PC port? The Last of Us. You would know when The Last of Us originally came out? The Last of Us originally came out. Ah, uh, man. Really? 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 Okay. It came out in 2013, apparently. I thought it was later than Bloodborne. My bad. My bad. Glad to be here on this nice Tuesday night. Hell yeah. Regardless, Last of Us, I don't feel needed a remaster. This one very much did. Although The Last of Us 1 is actually a pretty decent game. All things considered, that game pretty good. That game pretty good. Yeah, time do be flying these days. Time do be flying. I remember when this game came out, I was at my, uh, we, I got it from GameStop at the midnight release because they still did in-store midnight releases. And, um, we went back and we spent the entire night trying to beat the, uh, the Cleric Beast. And boy, did we have trouble because we were trying to play this game like it was Dark Souls and it, it's clearly not meant to be played like it's Dark Souls. Couldn't wrap our little, our little pea brains around the uh, the parry mechanic, or how they wanted the weapons to work. We didn't know how to function without magic or a shield. True trial by fire. True trial by fire, and we became better gamers because of it. Alrighty. Come get me, amygdala! Hey, buddy. Oh. Lol? Too much health didn't kill me. What an alpha chat of a character. Let's try this again, shall we? Amygdala! Say it with your chest this time. I'm confused. I'm very confused. Do I not have the DLC installed? Do I not have the DLC installed? Manage game content. What is this? Usable? Usable? Usable. What does usable even mean? What does that even mean, game? Hmm? 
Hmm? Okay. 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 Let's, uh, let's, let's fucking, let's do this then. View product. Hmm? Hmm? Purchased. It's clearly there. View game. View game. I'm, I'm currently playing the game, yes. I am confused. I am very confused. Apparently, but why? Do I have to open... Do I have to open the gate upstairs? Can't access old hunters DLC. Is there something I'm forgetting? I'm smooth of the brain. Give me a second. Give me a second. I don't have the eye. I don't have the eye. This is this is this is this is me being being smooth of the brain. You thought I uh, you thought I learned. I did not. I did not at all. It's fine. Return. Return. I need an item. Where is it? It's up here. Where is it? Where's the damn eye? Okay. Gotta kill Vicar Amelia. That's a little... That's a little spicy. We'll see. We'll see if we can do that. Vicar Amelia is uh, a boss that uh, I do tend to struggle with if I don't do the, uh, the old one-shot method. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this game's primed for a remaster. It really is. It really do be primed for a remaster. Use. Use. I don't want to have to go and do the, uh... The bloodletting beast or any of that stuff. I wanna, I wanna do it natural, or not natural, but I wanna save as much for the build as uh, as possible. Could have sworn there was a key. Let's open a gate up here. Am I just misremembering everything? Is that where I'm at right now? Mm. Come on, brain, figure it out.
Figure it out. That's what I said. I said figure it out. Try and be, be chill. Be chill, bud. Only a special emblem opens the main gate. I could have sworn you could buy that special emblem. From the bath. Hunter Chief Emblem. Ah, oh, I gotta beat the Cleric Beast. So do we fight Bloodletting Beast or do we fight Cleric Beast? Let's go fight Cleric Beast. <laughs> Wrong, uh, wrong starting spot, but it's fine. I did not remember that I needed to do that. Uh, it'll come back to me, guys. Don't worry. The brain can't stay smooth forever, and at least I've still got the muscle memory for the uh, how the combat works in this game. So out of curiosity, how much is the old saw cleaver going for? We're going to grab a saw cleaver. Just because. How old are your kids? Summertime fun to be had. Looking forward to it. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you're looking forward to it. Two girls, five and fifteen. Awesome. Or fifteen and ten. Where did I get five and fifteen? I promise I'm paying attention. Holy. Excuse you guys. I've got a cleric beast to uh, beat up. How's up, buddy? Molotov strats not working out as well as I remember it working. There we go. And you run up and you... You spin to win the legs. And you 
you break those. take advantage of the uh the serrated easy so funny that you should mention that i uh i saw a video i think it was a zuli the witch video that uh said that from software, I don't know if it's a conscientious thing that they're doing, but I feel like it is, has a thing with that style of character model. Ever since Manus, um, they've, it's been a recycled type, uh, not like the model itself, but like the character design with like the one big fiery, like the big violent arm and then the, the normal arm. Um, that just, they just keep recycling over and over that specific kind of look. So how much is this thing again? 10k? We're pretty close. We're pretty close. A few, uh, a few moidas on some giants and stuff, and we should be able to do it. Stupid hands. Hurting and shit. Why do you have glowing eyes? I haven't died. Did I die? I don't remember dying. Too good at this game. Don't remember it. Be something, wouldn't it? First uh, person to be bloodborne on Neuralink. We got another bloodstone shard. Love it. Love it. One thing I do need for this fight coming up, though, and it's a beast blood pellet. We might try it raw just to see how it goes. We might try it raw. 
I, I haven't fought Vicar Amelia, like, normally in a very long time. So it might be fun to fight her normally, for once. Excuse me, boys. Ouch. Messengers, open the gates. Thank you, guys. Thank you. That level of virtual reality is actually terrifying. Actually a big scary. down this way because uh well I don't uh respect one of the bosses of this game and I need those hello yes hello hello okay come back in the morning gotcha okay we'll come back Ouch! I deserve better than that. Okay, I am a treasure. I deserve to be treated as such, okay? There's so many cool uh, first-person mods. I can only imagine, like... Because I know there's a really good first-person Elden Ring mod. But to get all of that cool stuff, we need it to come to PC at some point. for real. For real. For real. Speaking of grinding stats, I never thought I would actually enjoy Diablo as much as I do. I never played any of them. Outside of a little bit of uh, Diablo Immortal, because it was free. But, um. But, um. But, um, but, um, but, um, but, um, but, um. I'm actually enjoying it quite a bit. No shame in saying that. Is Sackman over there? No, not yet. Okay. Not yet, which means I can get what's in this corner without having to worry about the sack, man. Ooh, 
Hunde war. Hey! Fucking works, though. Especially when the games are PC and uh, console cross, uh, cross playable. Alright, buy up those. I feel like I should spend some of these shards. How many do I have? 11? Jesus. This is the last time we're going to be able to need the axe, and I really need the, uh, the serrated. That, so we'll go with that. Bludgeon fortification, slap that bitch on there. Not that it's going to do a lot, but it's better than nothing. And away we go. And away we go. Do we do the summon? Should we summon uh summon in a hunter to uh to help us with this fight? What do you guys think? An NPC hunter, obviously. But should we uh should we do it? Or should we just fight her uh all natural? Wow, did I not open this gate? Lol. Lol. Okay. Okay. Silly, silly me. Not opening up the shortcut. Dude, I know more than a few people who would uh, Neuralink RuneScape 100%. That's hilarious. Hopefully they ignore all of the others and just come straight up to us. Ouch. That's fine. I deserve that. Oh my god. I don't know if my man's is coming. Maybe he'll be teleported into the fight once I start it? Maybe. Let's see how this goes. I don't have the, uh... Why are you so short? Uh, because short people are kings, obviously. Uh, the real reason being that uh, From Software makes their main characters short. Oh my god, we're about to get bodied.
makes their main character short so that you can see up and over their shoulders easier. Helps with uh, being able to read enemy uh, attacks. chipping me down and it's really frustrating. This fight be really hard without the strat. Forgot how hard this fight actually is without the strat. <laughs> Listen, guys, I don't think you want it, but you're going to get it. Okay, we're actually going to wait for the, uh, the hunter this time to spawn. Not that I think that's really going to help us, because it's going to cost us, uh, it's going to give her more health, but. What's up, Henrietta? Cross, she follows me and does not just get stuck fighting all of these these peeps. There she is. Henrietta, come on. Henrietta, come on. Henrietta, come on. There we go. Alrighty. Keep Talba. You do the same, my dude. Much love. Do 
it more, please. Oh, we missed the visceral. That's embarrassing. Helping me out here the most, honestly, is the fact that she's staggering with that Kirk hammer. The Kirk hammer is honestly one of those weapons that's just way too fucking good. Especially early game. damage, but we take that. No! Don't kill me! Henrietta, I need you to take some of this heat. Amelia. Thank you, Henrietta. Mucho aprecioso. Bye bye. All right. Typically, and I won't be summoning any more for this run. I just wanted to uh, get to the DLC as quickly as possible. So we can get the build going. Turn to the dream. Get a... Uh... Do I buy more blood vials or do we just... Hello, good eye on How much is it to... Uh... Take strength to 20. Honestly, pretty good. And then we will put the rest into blood vial acquisition. They're already going up in price, so. Now we can do the thing. Cathedral Ward. Let's go talk to Amygdala. Hey, what's up, Mordor? How you doing, bud?
Hello, good hunter. Hunter of hunters. How you doing, bud? <laughs> Come on in. Have a seat. We're about to go get the uh, the weapons for the Pizza Boomer build. Before we do that, though, um, I'm gonna go get the uh, I'm gonna go get the 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 last, so we can make sure we get all the amig or eh, we don't really need it. So I get one from the Hidden Dream, one from. Ayasefka, and then one from uh, Wet Nurse. So, we don't actually need her. Sleepy Giants are sleepy. Oh, we dooby dooby doo win. Indeed. Amygdala! Now take me to where I desire to go. Please and thank you. Oh my god. I am... I forgot to get the Eye of the Blue Drum Hunter. The whole reason I killed Vicar Amelia. So early. There it is. Thank you. One more time with feeling, shall we? One more time with feeling. Migdala, I just need your touch one more time, please. Sorry we haven't been on the same page, but uh, I think I've got it all figured out now. There we go. We did it. We did it. We did it. Big dids. Bigs dids it. All right. And now we run. Now we run fast. And hope not to get one shot. By the good hunters. Or their pets. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Thank you. Thank you. souls do you drop, sir? You too, come on. That's why he was standing there. There was one more gun. There was one more gun that I was not prepared for. That feels bad. That feels bad. I'm 
try it again, shall we? A little less suck this time. Why did I jump down here? There's no point. There's no rhyme or reason. I'm just making the game harder for myself at this point. Twin bloodstone shards. We like that. We like that a lot. Yep. Oh, yep. We're fucked. Big fucked. I saw that one before it even happened. I, I, I saw the future and still couldn't react to it. Still could not react to it. Seeing that empty phantasmal shell, though, makes me uh, miss some of my old builds that I had on the PS4. I should try to get those saves and port them over, because they were fun. I had a, a, a tentacle-only build on there where I did the, uh, the, the cause parasite and the... Uh, I think it was the auger of Abritus, the thing that makes the tentacle come out. I would use that for parries, and then, uh... I would use that for parries. And then the hyper armor that you get from the big explosion with the cause parasite for, like, crowds and stuff. It was a fun build. Wouldn't necessarily say it was a good build. Arcane's never been great in this game, unfortunately, so... Kind of is what it is on that front. Unless we have a very specific arcane build. with it's a nitrous or something. Oh god. These guys hurt so bad. These guys hurt so bad. The boom hammer is either right there. Or it's up and around. I can't remember. Oh, there's the boom hunter, though. This is fucking awkward. This guy's a one-shot fucking machine. Keep coming. Okay, there's my opportunity, and we running. No, not yet, sir. Not yet at all. We still have a few minutes left in the stream. Okay, and that is not the spot. It is in here, then. I believe it is out this window, actually. Oh, nope, that is the top hat. Okay. Well. We run him back in the building, then, because I know that there is a hammer in here somewhere for me to take. Oh, that guy is... There it is! There it is! I found it! I found it! it. I found it, Zit.
Oh, the Beast Claw Hunter. Fuck that. Yeah. Arcane in Elden Ring definitely do be broken. Even after all the nerfs, it's still one of the, uh, the stronger build varieties. I think it's this way. Don't make me regret picking that up, game. Ah! This is not Sekiro, but we finished Sekiro. You have all the Sekiro you want on the uh, the past VODs. Plus, I have at least two Sekiro vids in the waiting. Remember when luck was impactful, though. I remember when luck was dope. Hell yeah, bud. Glory be to the, uh, the Karthus Rouge Henri Straight Sword build. Oh, how I miss thee. From Software does not know how to balance their bleed builds. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> they really don't. Never have, never will. Okay, well, we've got the boom. We got the boomer part. Now for the old, uh... Now for the old, uh... Pizza cutter. Is this the Nightmare Church? No, this is Hunter's Nightmare. Where's Nightmare Church? I know where it's talking about, I just can't pinpoint where.
The opposite does happen in Bloodborne. Statuses are top tier. Thank you. Please, for the love of God. Don't kill me. Bloodstone chunks this early. Fuck. Love that. Oh, this is not the way. That is the opposite of the way I wanted to go. I know what's in there. That's where the amygna amygdala claw and the uh, the Gatling gun is at, if I remember right. No, 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 no. Oh, and I'm poisoned. This is. Horrible. Horrendous. Terrible. I hate it. Might be right there. I think that's it right there. Sorry, Major, did not mean to run you over. Oh yeah, the final two bosses. Immune to uh, status effect BS. Am I going the wrong way again? I am, aren't I? Damn it! Let me just double check. Is this a long dark cave? It is. Damn it! Okay. Okay, we're fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Don't mind me. I have nothing to lose, so I, it's not even worth getting upset over. Nothing to lose. Everything to gain. Specifically a pizza cutter. And we, and we got owned. We got licked. We got lapped up. By the long tongue of the law. Okay, so we jump off the right side of the bridge, not the left side. Left side leads to a uh, murder cave with the amygdala claw. Amazing weapon, by the way. One of my favorites, actually. <sighs> not the one we were looking for. DLC had so many cool weapons, and they did a really good job at making the majority of them uh, available pretty close to the start. And I can appreciate that about them. Okay. Ouch! Ouch! Fucking bastards, dude. Can we can just get past this man? We're in the money. Oh, fuck me. How do I get up there? I have to climb up and drop down, don't I? I have to 
climb up and drop down, don't I? No. No. Okay. One thing I hate about this game is that they have the uh, the jump button on circle. And if you're sprinting, and then you immediately hit circle to dodge, you jumping. Whereas in other games, Dark Souls 3, Elden Ring and such. Oh, well, Dark Souls 3, I guess. You could uh, switch jump to uh, click the left joystick. And that was a lot more convenient. Then Elden Ring, we know how Elden... What are you doing? Stop blocking me! We know what Elden Ring did. It was our whole, whole damn jump button of our own. Oh, climb, no! Why is your dick so long, sir? Leave me alone! I just want to get the pizza! I'm curious. I have a, uh, a curiosity. I wonder... I don't think it'll work. But I wonder if, uh... A blood cocktail will distract him. I don't think it will, because he's technically not a beast yet. But... Running low on options here. Ah, that dog wanted my balls. Ah, climb, you fool. Thank you. We just gotta be very, very careful. Okay. Yes, this is where the cannon guys are at. Get in there. Ooh. <sighs> oh, why am I going back? That's not how this game works. Ah. <laughs> uh. Chicken boy. When fall comes back around and the weather starts getting a bit chilly, it'll be on like Donkey Kong. It will be on like DK, Donkey Kong. Hello, are you alone? missed. More chonks. What pizza chain does Pizza Boomer work for? I saw the shadow. Oh man, I saw the shadow. Is this it? No. Oh god, no. Run away! There's the snail. Ah, we got the whirly gig, so it doesn't matter. Nothing matters anymore! Nothing matters anymore! 
nothing really matters. Anyone can see. He is definitely a Pizza Hut kind of guy. Because nobody out pizzas the hut. <laughs> uh. Nobody out pizzas the hut. All right. Ooh, need 12 decks for the pizza cutter. Interesting. I also forgot this is a game where if you don't meet the minimum stat requirements, you just can't use the fucking weapon. It does not let it equip to you. Which I actually find hilarious. Uh, do I have? I do. Chug a lug. Welcome. Very well. Hmm. Awkward. Should have probably looked Hello. up. May you. What all requirements were needed for these weapons? Welcome. What? Very well. Let me. Probably should have looked that up. That's my bad. Sell. One thing we can do is we have excess hunter clothing. Welcome. Very well. We also got a lot of insight. We can go up to the shop. Hold off on that for a sec. Let's let, let's what do we want here? Man, the hunter's hat's just goaded. It really just is that good, isn't it? Gascoigne's garb is also goaded. Constable gloves, goaded. And Gascoigne's pants, kind of mid. Yeah, this looks like a boomer now. <laughs> this looks like a boomer now. Welcome, what is it? Channel. Well, let me. There we go, grazie. Grazie, And now we can level up. So I've already put one into Boom. Put one into Whirly. And... Yeah. Okay. Neat, so it's just it's just a mace. Ooh, that sweep's nifty. That goes almost all the way around. That's almost a complete 360 of a uh, spin. I like that. I like that quite a bit. I like that quite a bit. And then we all know what the uh, the alt version is for. <laughs> uh, glorious, exceptional, extravagant. Pizza Boomer lives, and he is here to conquer Yarnum. And what better place to start than uh, going down to the basement and uh, conquering Old Yarnum?
Should be able to do that fairly quickly and efficiently. If anything about old Yarnum changes whenever night comes around. Yoohoo! Yoohoo! Thank you for the deal. Now I do miss out on a marketing opportunity though. They could have easily done a Cold Blood Dew flavor. Get boomed. Get boomed. I remember that's like the move that made people rage. Is the dash R1 of this thing is like ridiculous. What's the mace like? Kinda mid would rather use the uh the cleaver TBH. Is this the chainsaw man everybody is talking about? Nah. You should definitely watch Chainsaw Man though. Great show, highly recommend it. Yep, 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 yep. I love fresh Gouda. This is actually probably going to be pretty fun. This is probably going to be a pretty fun build, not going to lie. I don't know about you, but I think this might be pretty fun. Oh, he gone. Oh, he gone. Okay. Fair. <laughs> How would you like you sliced for real? Okay, so what does this do? Ah, okay, so it's just a big sweep if you, uh... So what you're telling me is I can go R1, L1. Cool. More versatile of a weapon than I was expecting. I wasn't sure if, uh... I wasn't sure if this, this was just gonna be a uh, charged R2s all day, all day. <laughs> Listen. If I ever received a, a pizza like that, I would just assume that they know me. And they know my- Oh, Jesus Christ! That's a lot of damage! Okay. Holy shit! I was not expecting that! I mean, I understand he's a beastie boy. But after that R2, he was about to go intergalactic. Wild. Wild indeed. Holy crap.
Yeah, that sounds like the ideal pizza, honestly. You just take one of those four slices, fold it on itself. That's how I do, Za. All right. Let's get a healthy, uh, a healthy vitality before we get too much further. The thing about this game is uh, your damage stat really doesn't start to shine until you get a, a decent amount more levels into uh, your weaponry. So. I'll show you. smash this red jewel like you all need to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Bullet gym fortification. Put the physical attack up there. And then boom hammer, you can get attack up versus beasts there. Beautiful. We love that. We love that. Another pizza theme question. What's your guys' favorite flavor of Hot Pocket? The reason I ask is because mine are both pizza flavored Hot Pockets. The pepperoni pizza Hot Pocket. Simple, but effective. And then my all time favorite is the, uh, the white chicken pizza. That's that good shit, that hot shit that puts bounce in the mosh pit. Shit, 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 shit. It's fine, I was gonna be coming down here anyway. Ham and cheese, you guess? Ham and cheese is good. There's one that had like a that was like a pretzel one that I can't remember what the flavor of it was but it was like a pretzel crust holy shit dude boom hammer kind of disgusting why have I never used this weapon ham and cheese is solid though ham and cheese big solid Why have I never used this weapon? Why is this ladder so long? Why am I gonna have to... Well, I don't need to climb it twice. We can actually, uh... We can grab that when we reset. Cool. Hello, JR. Oh, How you doing, buddy boy? Hopefully the, uh, the knight is treating you well. Oof. That guy got counter damaged and big boy damaged. Twofer! 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 One, two, count him! Here comes the boom. Ready or not. You're all right. All right works. We take we take all right. All right, time to do the big run. Yours. Ouch. Which is why I must stop you.
Okay. Ah! Saw Spear Hunter, please. Know your role, brother. This is not your fight. <coughs> My quarrel is with the man upstairs, and I don't mean God. For he abandoned these lands long ago. I mean Jura. Let's see if I can get the old Cheeserino off on him. If not, we die here, and that's okay. Bye, Jura! <laughs> there they are. There they are. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. No, that's fair. That is 100% fair. I think that's most people, honestly. I know I am. My attention is uh, extremely hard to keep these days. My intrigue is pretty high, but my intention, like, keeping my attention is, is quite difficult. Which is why I'm surprised Diablo has managed to do that at this point. How long? I don't know. But at this point, we're we're thriving. Hi, buddy. It's dumb. Holy shit, this is a silly weapon. And I really enjoy it. What's over here? By the way, the uh, the near uh, the near replicant artwork is damn near done, and I'm very excited to share it with you guys. She's been doing it as like a passion project, and I think uh, I think it's turning out really nicely. So here's a little trick for those that don't know. Once you hear that scream, these guys get a boof. And they also want to uh, come up here and get you because they think that you are up here. You can actually cheese them on this wall and not have to die. Some weapons are more effective than others, obviously, but, uh... Yeah, easy way to get some easy, uh, easy souls off the rip. And then you, uh... You're good to go. Don't forget to grab your Ritual Blood if you plan on going into the Chalice Dungeons, which you all should, because they are a lot of fun. At least the, uh, the handmade chalice dungeons. If, if going into procedurally made dungeons isn't your bag, baby, that's fine. I understand. But, uh... There's some fun to be had in the chalice dungeons. I wish they would have brought a system like that to Elden Ring, because I think Elden Ring would really excel from a nice procedurally generated dungeon system. But the game is kind of big enough as is, so maybe it's not 100% necessary. And the fact that a lot of the Elden Ring dungeons are already loosely based off of uh, the Chalice dungeon system here.
Bethesda and Pokemon, hell yeah. Twofer? Twofer. Nothing wrong with that. My dad is actually the biggest Bethesda fan that I know. He goes nutty for Bethesda games to the point that he's actually considering buying an Xbox to play uh, the next Elder Scrolls game if it uh, isn't cross-platform on launch. I feel you, JR. I'm with you. I am with you. Come on. Come get the hammer. What are they doing? What are they doing? I just want one of them, not both of them. Yes, I've got his attention. Maybe. Excuse me, sir. Come here. Thank you. Juicy Beast Blood Pellet. We love that. Okay. He got the, the spice. You get the... Uh, oh, okay. Okay. You get the slice. The spice and the slice. Let's go. There's a gravel over here, yes. Cocktails, yes, eh? Bam. I'm genuinely impressed with, uh... With this hammer right now. impressed with this hammer right now. I understand you could have effectively done that with any weapon, but here we are. But not silly. I, I feel that 100%. That is how I am with From Software games and Final Fantasy games. Dual KFC Dominoes. No, I low-key forgot that uh, Dominoes is uh, owned by the same people who do KFC. I knew Taco Bell is. I forgot Dominoes is part of that chain as well. Oh, we missed. And now I want KFC. Holy shit. I had pizza yesterday. We got a little Caesars. $5 hot and ready. Not $5 anymore, by the way. Real disappointed to figure that one out. But, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm pizzaed out for the time being, but some KFC sounds amazing. It sounds real good. Especially if they bring back their Kentucky Gold Sauce. Mmm. That was my favorite. Anything that has, like, any sauce that has a light honey mustard base to it is just the best in my eyes. Can do no wrong.
Thank you, m'lady. Buy one singular blood vial because they're fucking expensive now. And now we roll it back down. Roll it back downtown. We'll fight, uh... Fight old flaps. Fight old skin flaps. I have something I want to try out on those skin flaps. Actually. I'm curious if it'll work. If it does, this might be an extremely quick fight. If it doesn't, then, uh... Well, it might actually kill us. We'll figure it out, though. Time to do another run. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's get the beast blood pellets going. Get the blood cocktails going. All right, the the game plan here is uh, I don't know which one's gonna build up. Beast uh, beast hood more, the mace or the saw. I feel like you build up with the mace and then you let it rip with the saw. I, th I think that's how I would design it if I was a game designer. But uh, that's the play we're going for. So we'll, let's let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. So we pop this. I'm gonna come over here. Toss it in this corner. Okay. Now we just kind of wail on this man for a minute. That is doing actually very little for the beast to engage. Apparently just all saw all the time is the play. Okay, and we have one more. And then we grip it and rip it. just wore out and we got slow poisoned right at the edge of death but we survive and we move on to the next round Pretty impressed with that. That actually worked out pretty much how I was expecting. I, I, I really thought Mace was going to be, like, where you build it up. But I guess the multi-hits from the saw are just are just how, how it works. Saw mode, best mode. And I respect it. I respect it a lot. I would like some more levels, please. Thank you. Can I get to that glorious 20? Twindy, twin, twin. Actually, let's go level up weapons before we do any of that. Fortify. 24 shards now, holy. 
two shards short of, uh, of maxing those out. Luckily, we have... Some insight we can spend. Keep our insight low. Now we got plus three weapons. Now, which one's going to get the, uh... The good good? Don't know. Don't know, actually. Hmm. Let's go with the pizza cutter because I feel like it needs the uh, the most help right now. I think it'll probably scale better into the end game. But I do feel like it might be a little bit on the lacking side currently. I also need to go and get one more thing before I forget to help us out a little bit. This build's been fun so far. Took us a while to get there, longer than I was hoping it would. Mainly because I just forgot where the pizza cutter was and how to get to the DLC to begin with. But I'm happy we did it. Having fun with it. Boom hammer, surprisingly effective weapon. Like comically good. That helps. You don't have to have your weapon leveled up all the way, but it helps. It does help. You first, sir. You. You. Yes, you. Come here. Come here. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. Boop. What does this even do? Ooh. Okay, I seize you. I seize you. Oh, that didn't kill that bird. Interesting. One thing I'm kind of digging about the uh, the boom hammer as well is the fact that it's a it's a one hander. Really did not expect it to be. I don't know why I thought it was a two-hander. But I am, uh... Happy to be wrong. <laughs> Jump attack! For the win! I don't miss it as much as the, uh, the charged R2. Honestly. That's, uh... How much does this do? 412, that one did like mid 300s. Hey, there's the last of the shards that I needed that I didn't need to spend inside on, but I did anyway. And that's okay, because it was worth. Hey, there's probably some more shards there too. If I had to uh, take a guess. Unless those are 20 twin twins. And that was the whole reason we came down here, was for that blood gem. Just to give us a little bit more of an edge. Excuse me, sir. That guy there and his uh, flaming fist brother in the, uh, the Grand Library might be up there with the shark men for most intimidating enemies in the game. I don't think that one's that hard. He's just kind of, he, he, he hurt a lot. 
You heard a whole lot. Alrighty, guys. That is where we are going to end the stream for the night. The Pizza Boomer has been born and will continue to spread the spice and the slice across Yarnum. Hopefully you all have enjoyed this build so far. I'm very, very happy with it this far as well. And, uh, yeah. We will be back next time with a, uh, with a little bit more Pizza Boomer. Much love if you haven't already liked the stream. Don't forget to do so. And subscribe if you are new to the channel. But until next time, Tentacrew, much love. Take care. Be safe. And bye-bye.